What is up my bodyweight warriors and welcome back to another video and uh, another day of eating or nutrition style of video. I don't think today's going to be a full day of eating because it's going to get pretty busy later but I'm going to do the best that I can. Of course we're starting the day off with the coffee however today's coffee is not quite as fun or as enjoyable as the usual coffee and that's because I'm currently ending off a week of decaf. Actually it's been about 10 days of decaf only coffee. This is something I used to try and do once every two or three months. The last time I did it was one year ago, so the beginning of this week was a bit... But I actually feel better than ever when it comes to energy. It's just a good habit to get into to reset adenosine receptors, reset that sensitivity to caffeine, and just be less reliant on it to wake up in the morning. As you may be able to tell from the title though, we are going to be going over today that recipe that I mentioned in a blog at some point in the past like few weeks that has been requested over and over and over again for me to go over, so I'll share that with you later. But for the moment, I've just got to catch up with a little bit of work. Right, so it is now about 12.45. Uh, I haven't eaten yet today. I've just been doing a tiny bit of painting and then working basically this morning, sorting everything out. Uh, and now I'm gonna make breakfast slash lunch, I guess, at this point. And this is the recipe that a lot of you have been asking for and I did promise that I'd make it probably a few weeks ago, but because of all the videos that I've been trying to do and also sorting out the live stream, charity live stream Q&A, uh, which I will link in the description if you wanna go over there. It's an hour long Q&A, and also if you wanna help out a good cause and donate some money, I would really appreciate that. Yeah, anyway, let's get on to the recipe. So the recipe that I shared was actually uh, in another vlog, can't remember which one it was exactly, but it's one of my favorite meal prep recipes that I have. It's so good because it's one, very cheap, and two, incredibly easy. It's literally chuck everything in a roasting dish and go wild, and it's all based on this which is actually still slightly defrosting, but it's not a problem. You can cook these from frozen. They just take a little bit longer to cook. Uh, it's just one kilo of some free range chicken thighs and drumsticks. So it's like a mixture of all of them, <laughs> much more nutrient dense than your bland chicken breast. They taste great. They've got a decent amount of collagen in both the skin that's on there and also because of this kind of connective tissue. The main thing is that they're cheap. They're cheap to buy good quality. That pack there is around four pounds for one kilo of chicken meat. So I usually, that will do for me two or three meals depending on how hungry or how much I'm trying to eat that day. Apart from that, you're just gonna need some vegetables. I'm gonna give you the specific recipe, obviously in the link down below on my blog, there'll be the exacts of what I like to do, but you can kind of just freestyle this. I like peppers, tomatoes, and onions to chuck in there. Uh, and I go kind of a more Spanish-ish themed spices, but really you can do whatever you want. But as I said, full blog recipe will be in the description down below. Uh, I'm really hungry, so let's cook. have the recipe guys just a very simple one as I said it literally took me all about five minutes to prepare I actually also chucked in a little bit of chorizo because I had some left over and yeah super simple meal it's really nice when it's hot and freshly cooked but it's also really good when it's cold as well so, as I mentioned the full details are in the link in the description down below so if you want to get to check it out if you want to cook it yourself I highly recommend it it's super tasty super easy and yeah let me know what you think let me know if you enjoy the recipe I'm definitely gonna enjoy it now and it was pretty good. And it was also pretty good the next day on my way to London, which kind of makes it fit the rule that I have when I'm generally cooking meals for prepping. So I don't really do meal prepping as per se. I'm not one of those guys who's gonna get a bunch of Tupperwares and cook chicken and rice or whatever it is, put it in boxes, store it away and eat it up until five days later. In my opinion, it's boring. It does obviously work, but you know, Food definitely is a source of enjoyment in life and I, I kind of want to enjoy that. 
But there is a way that you can incorporate prepping into just your day-to-day -day routine when it comes to cooking food. And the kind of rule that I have for this is that whenever I'm cooking a meal, I'm never only cooking for that meal. What I'll essentially do is just double the amount of food that I'm gonna be cooking. So if I'm cooking for me and my girlfriend, that's two people, then I'll make sure that I'm at least cooking for four or more people when I make that meal. So if I make something like a chili con carne, for example, I'm not just gonna stick you know, 500, 600 grams of meat in there that's gonna do enough for two portions. Instead, I'm gonna do one to two kilos of meat, something that's gonna be enough for four to six portions, and then I can just bang in the fridge and then, you know, if I want to have a quick breakfast the next day or a quick lunch the next day, I can just grab it, chuck it in a pan, heat it up. I kind of like to think of it as the pick and mix when it comes to prepping. So this right here is kind of like the perfect example. This is my leftovers of breakfast this morning. Uh, I got back from London. I've been there for a couple of days yesterday, so I didn't have like anything in the fridge uh, ready to eat apart from a pack of mints and then whatever vegetables I had left over. So, I chucked it all in a pan, cooked it up with some spices, but I made sure that I made at least more than just the one portion I was doing. So here is the second portion out of the two that I made, and that will be a nice, simple breakfast that will take me two minutes to prepare tomorrow, and it's done, it's there and dusted. So the main reason for doing this isn't because I don't enjoy cooking, that's not the case at all. Actually, I love to cook. Uh, I cook every single evening, so it means that the leftovers I do have aren't like the normal mass meal prep where they sit in the fridge for three, four or five days. They're only usually around for one or two days because I'm always cooking something fresh each evening. But it means that I don't have to sit and individually cook three different meals throughout the day, which is a lot of time, not necessarily wasted, but just time I could spend doing other things that I need to be doing, training, working, relaxing. So the reason I say pick and mix is I literally mean it like candy or the sweet shop. So when I open my fridge, usually there will be leftovers in there which are probably from a day or two before that I can choose between two or three. There will probably also be leftovers like just roasted potatoes, roasted veg, maybe some leftover like cooked greens. The idea is just having stuff that's very easily accessible and I can literally heat up and eat and it's done. It is fast food, but healthy essentially. As the old saying goes, failing to prepare is preparing to fail. If you do want to prepare, then I do have a bunch of recipes on my blog. They're the recipes that I cook by myself. They're the ones that I use to do this sort of like pick and mix style of prepping technique. So if you want to try out, those are some maybe some ideas or inspirations or simply just take your favorite dish that you like cooking and cook double next time you do it. It's literally the easiest way to eat well. And kind of when it comes to my opinion on nutrition, I've got several opinions, but one of my fundamental things is that you know, you can eat whatever you want as long as you cook it yourself. That's kind of the rule that I'll go to at the very, very basic level. If you're cooking it yourself, you're doing a whole meal from scratch at home, it's not gonna contain half the amount of crap as anything you're gonna buy from a store. But that is just my two cents on this topic. If you have any techniques that you wanna share with the other members of the Bodyweight Warrior Tribe, then why not feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let us know what you do for your meal prepping. If you just enjoyed this video, you can just hit that thumbs up button and support the channel. Right next to it is that subscribe button if you want to join the Bodyweight or Tribe. But that has been it for this week, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a strong week and peace.